Daniel Henry Holmes Ingalls Sr. May 4, 1916 to July 17, 1999, was the Wales Professor of Sanskrit at Harvard University. Topic: <laughs> Early Life. Ingalls was born in New York City and raised in Virginia. He received his A.B. in 1936, at Harvard majoring in Greek and Latin, and his A.M. in 1938 studying symbolic logic under Willard Van Orman Kinehe was appointed a junior fellow in the Harvard Society of Fellows in 1939 after which he set off for Calcutta for the study of Navyanyaya logic with Kalapada Tarkacharya 1938 His fellowship was interrupted by the Second World War during which he served as an army code breaker decoding Japanese radio messages for the Office of Strategic Strategic Services 1942 .After the war, Ingalls returned to Harvard as Wales Professor of Sanskrit. He was particularly known for his translation and commentary in an anthology of Sanskrit court poetry, which contains some 1,700 Sanskrit verses collected by a Buddhist abbot, Vidyakara, in Bengal around AD 1050. Ingalls was a student of the Indian grammarian Shivram Dadatre Joshi, and the teacher of many famous students of Sanskrit, such as Wendy Doniger, Diana Eck, John Stratton Hawley, Geoffrey Musaif Masson, Bimal Krishna Madalal, Robert Thurman, Sheldon Pollock, Carl Harrington Potter, Phyllis Granoff, Indira Viswanathan Peterson, David Pingree, and Gary Tubb. He was renowned for the rigor of his introductory Sanskrit course. He was the editor of the Harvard Oriental series from 1950 to 1983. Ingalls was the father of the computer scientist Dan Ingalls and the author Rachel Ingalls. He was also chairman of the Department of Sanskrit and Indian Studies and president of the American Oriental Society. Topic: <laughs> An anthology of Sanskrit court poetry. Volume 44 of the Harvard Oriental Series, an anthology of Sanskrit court poetry, is the acclaimed English translation by Ingalls of the Sanskrit text of Vidyakara. The book has a lengthy introduction by Ingalls containing an incisive analysis of the structure of the Sanskrit language, and also of Ingalls's perspective on Sanskrit literature in general, and Sanskrit poetry in particular. It also has a section titled On the Passing of Judgments in which Ingalls criticizes some critics of Sanskrit poetry. Topic: <laughs> Criticism of 19th and 20th century western Sanskritists. Ingalls writes that after the initial excitement at the discovery of Sanskrit literature, which produced the enthusiastic and positive reviews of British Sanskritists like Hastings and Sir William Jones, there was a long period in which English writers subjected Sanskrit literature to the literary canons of their own land. By doing this their judgments were sometimes monstrous, according to Ingalls. The Sanskritist Fitzedward Hall, writes Ingalls, being troubled by the sometimes erotic imagery in the poetry of the Sanskrit poet Subandhu, exclaimed that Subandhu was no better, at the very best, than a specious savage. And A. A. MacDonald according to Ingalls found nothing to say of the great Sanskrit poets Bharavi and Magga except that they favoured verbal tricks and metrical puzzles. Quote dot. The judgment of these scholars, explains Ingalls, was clouded with bias inasmuch as it was based on 19th-century Western morals and 19th-century Western notions of literature." Quote, At no point was it enlightened by reference to the critical literature of Sanskrit itself, writes Ingalls. Ingalls then goes on to criticize the British scholar Arthur Berrydale Keith of whom Ingalls writes that although Keith was a great scholar of Vedic studies and modern Indian law, it is obvious from his works that for the most part he disliked Sanskrit literature and that, of Keith's reading, it seems to me, no word ever passed beyond his head to the heart. Ingalls notes that when criticizing Sanskrit poets, Keith never applies the remarks of any Sanskrit critic to the work he is judging. Notes and references Notes References Further reading Obituary Notice in the Harvard Gazette Memorial Minutes in the Harvard Gazette Sheldon Pollock Daniel Henry Holmes Ingalls 
Journal of the American Oriental Society, 105, 387–389. ISSN 0003-0279. JSTOR 601513.